Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities XL and welcome back to Waterfront City. Yeah, I continued a bit off camera at my harbor. I added a lot of stuff and I, I, I really love how this bridge here is crossing over this harbor area. I think it fits very well and I really love this bridge model. It's a really, really awesome bridge. Let's have a look from down here. Yeah, it looks so cool and fits so well. Oh, let's jump on this ship. Yeah, very nice, very nice. And yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I added uh, some additional parts to this harbor. Now we have a lot more containers, as you can see. Additional fuel depots. And I also started to build a warehouse district here. Um, I think it fits very well, these modular warehouse pack parts it, it fits perfectly to this harbor so I will expand this here a bit and I also added over there ooh, behind this entrance uh, some parking garages and parking lots I think they they fit uh, or make they make perfectly sense here at the entrance area of this harbor so you can leave your car here and walk around, go to these offices and so on. Yeah, makes sense, I think. But yeah, I like. I will not continue here today over this episode because the last two episodes were about this harbor area. So I think it makes sense to do something else. I just wanted to show you my progress of camera. I'd like to continue over here instead at my residential circle because we need a lot of skilled workers. We have a lot of available jobs and I like to focus a bit more now uh, about balancing stuff so yeah, that we will have not so much unemployment or available jobs anymore to yeah keep my citizens happy and yeah to let the city grow and so on. Yeah, I think it's time to balance stuff a bit so but before i will add additional buildings let's let's continue a bit here uh with parks for example why not let's do this first let's add some parks uh we could probably create something like can we put something parallel here to this house Oh yeah, it doesn't have a collision box, if I remember right, so I think we can easily add a pedestrian pass next to it. It's, yeah, that's nice. So, uh, do we need any pedestrian, uh, any other pedestrian passes? I have no, no idea. Uh, probably not, we, or, yeah, we, let's build some sort of lake down there, something similar to this one. And I think then we are good. Then we just need to add some trees. Oh yeah. It's not perfectly parallel, so let's stay a bit away from this. Yeah, let's switch to this texture. And now I will put water texture, or later we'll put water texture inside of this. We can add some uh, decorations now, some furnitures. Let's quickly add some additional lights, but I like a different model. Let's switch. Which one we use down there? Ooh. All right, this one. Yeah. Also over here. And let's add a bench. And something for our trash, for example. Uh, let's change the, mo the model. Yes, so very nice. Now we have decorated this area and we can put some additional trees to this. I think let's go to Pegs, Asia, decorations, no, terrains, of course. And I like to add some larger trees. Let's use these red flower trees, for example, over here and there. I will put them here between them a bit randomly. So I think this makes sense. 
put one over there. Yeah, perfectly. And let's add some of these trees, probably, around them. Yeah, to create a nice park and garden situation. Something like that. Oh. Yeah, probably we should add another one of these big trees right here. Yeah, I think this is enough of trees. We can put you now grass textures around this area. Uh, but let's add these palms first. Let's add some palms like this between every street light, a palm. Yeah. Perfect. A lot of trees. It will be a very green city, despite that this is a industry city later, but it will be pretty green. Um, and yeah, let's also add palms on the other side of this road. Something like this. Let's continue over here. Yeah, it's not perfectly parallel. But I think it looks good. It, it should be fine this way. Yeah, the street lights are not perfectly parallel. So, yeah, but I think this way it will work. Nice. So, and now just some textures between these guys. Some grass. Yeah, and let's put um let's put some water in here. I think this is the water texture I usually use. Or is it the no it's it's that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's that one. Alright, so that looks nice. And I'm thinking about maybe it makes sense to build some sort of plaza over here because it was a, a lot of green, so probably a bit too much. We can build a parallel pedestrian pass like we have done over there. Probably. Yeah. Perfect. And now let's just add a uh, the grass texture right here. Oh, some for some reason. Oh, <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Because the problem is this building do not have a collision box, so that means that means to make these texture work, we should build another road, something like this. Yeah, and now we can put a plaza inside of that. That should work. So, or grass textures over there. And what type of plaza we should put here? I think this tree should be removed in that case. Mm. Maybe just the default City 6 L1. I like. Nah, not this one. Also not this one. I like this with the with the white texture. Yeah, this is nice. Let's let's take this one. That looks good. I I just like to create interesting uh parks and spaces and so on inside of these circles so uh i like so that the decorations are not or that they are nice decoration that this area do not look so boring i want to create you know a organic layout and i think for this is it is necessary not just to put grass textures inside of this uh, I need to play around with water and plazas and pedestrian passes and something like that so yeah hopefully this will look nice organic but not chaotic in the end that's a bit uh, um, 
I'm, I'm a bit concerned about this. All right. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I think between these guys, yeah. Let's put just some additional trees down there. Let's go to Pax Asia, and again, let's take a larger tree. Or probably we can take this one here yeah to create something randomly some something a random a random park or so should we add a pedestrian pass or will this be s or will this not fit into our layout i have no idea mm. I mean, technically, we could do something like this. Probably. Or something like this, probably. Nah, this will not fit. Let's simply add some of these grass decorations. And I think then we are good. We have some sort of plaza around these buildings. I think this is fine. It's... it's uh, decorative enough around these buildings. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's continue. We should now, yeah, let's remove these buildings. We don't need them. We should now, uh, check what is the happiness situation with this area over here. I think I need to add more of these public buildings. Let's expand this a bit. Or, yeah, I'd like to remove all that stuff here in the, in the middle, but I'd like to keep the middle marked. So, saving. Yeah, there we go. This is our middle of the circle, the center. Let's expand this road to the other side. Perfect, perfectly flat. And let's see. Uh, what is the sat satisfactory situation here? Health, nothing. Education, nothing. Security, nothing. Fire rescue. Oh, we got a bit of fire rescue. That's interesting. It's green, but these buildings are red. Hmm. Shops. Yeah, a bit of shops. Leisure is good because we have some nice leisure buildings over here. Leisure, sorry. Uh, health. I think we just have a small clinic up here or somewhere. Where is the clinic? Where is the clinic? I can remember there was a clinic. Ah, it's over there. Education, yeah, we just have a, I think, a elementary school, yeah. So, we should build some larger educational stuff down here. Probably, yeah, yeah let's let's start with, with education. Uh, money isn't a problem anyway. I'm importing a lot of cash tokens from New Coast City. So... Let's go to city services, education. We already have the elementary school. So let's build the larger school. And I'd like to build these kind of buildings, all these service buildings along these roads. Basically the idea for the road network inside of the circle is to build a road from one side of the circle to the other side but this road uh, will not go to through the center so that's how I try to achieve the organic layout or the organic look that's basically the design idea all right let's add another road
This should have a nice impact on the happiness of everyone down here. Okay, uh, let's add some houses over here. Is there a nice modernistic skilled worker house? Oh, probably. Oh, we already have this over here. Skilled workers, yeah. Um, this is not modern. Let's take probably this one. Yeah, I think this should work. Let's build this over here for the moment. And let's try to add another road. Yeah, we could build something like this. Let's switch to curved road because then we can rotate this as we need it. Yeah, let's add this over here. And I think this will not going to work, right? No, the angle, oh, the angle works. All right, so I think this will fit perfectly. <coughs> Sorry, maybe let's move the house or let's add this house to this road because then we get a bit more variation inside of this. So, um, yeah, let's add this over here. And should we add additional trees around? The yeah, no, not now, probably later. Now I'd like to work with pedestrian passes inside of this. Or probably we can add, let's remove it, a road that Nah, this is not a good idea because this will take too much space, but we could build a additional road like this, you know? That... Let's start to build this over here. Yeah. Let's try around. Or is this too similar to this one? No, I don't think so. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's intersect this way with this kind of road. Ah, it's too close. Intersection is too close. Yeah, this is, this is going to work. Yeah, finally, I think. Looks a bit weird that kind of intersection, but it do not work in a different way. Let's see, I'm not sure about this this kind of layout thing. Maybe I would remove some of this road in the center later, so that just a handful of roads will cross the center. So, um, yeah, we. I think we can add another service building. So we have education, security, she is a problem. Yeah, let's add city services, security, police headquarter. Mm, this is going to be a real huge circle. So probably it's, it's not a bad idea to add a police headquarter here or just a police station. Or just a police station. Now, let's start with a police station. Uh, I don't know. It's it's the thing is this one is is at a good location if I add this over here because it's pretty close to the center of the city. Yeah, look at this. It will cover a lot of space. A, a, a lot of a lot of God damn it. <laughs> this will provide service for a lot of uh, for a lot a, a lot Jesus, sorry, <laughs> foreign language. This will provide a lot of service for almost every district here in the city. 
yeah something like that i wanted to say let's leave a bit space between these the school and so on i don't like these multi-propose buildings um these multi-propose buildings will it provides every type of service for your city and i don't like them because it's not you know it's not how it works in the real city so i don't i don't like to build them all right so we have the police station this should have a positive effect on our ha happiness level soon. So let's probably... I'd like to add more elite houses here. So I'd like to add them over here because it's, it's a very nice location. There should be more of these guys. So we can probably do something like... Yeah, let's build a row. Let's turn off these limitless construction sets so we can build something. Uh, something, some overlapping houses over here. So that we are maybe able to create something interesting. Yeah, for example, like this. And we can continue this probably with this orientation. So it's it looks like that we have two times the same kind of apartment building over here. Yeah, looks looks interesting, fits well to this layout. And up here we can build some low density elite houses. Something like this. And that, oh, here not the limitless construction set. The problem with these limitless construction set is um, also the decorations will not snap to it. And that makes things a bit difficult sometimes. Yeah, I think this is nice. Let's build another house. Another small house over there. Okay. And one additional over here. Yeah. Saving. All right. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, let's have a look at the job situation. Oh, we have a bit of unemployment now. That's bad. So let's stop with these high wealth worker elite kind of stuff. We still have a lot of available jobs for unskilled workers. So we need, we need more of them. We need a lot of them. So probably i think i think we could build another skilled worker skyscraper like this one over here because uh it's it's not at the same location like this one and if it it have a different orientation so i think it's okay it's it's not too similar and i like that these buildings are very white so fits well and now let's build some kind of smaller smaller high density building <laughs> something like like this for example and another one like this okay what's the situation down here Oh, yeah, not so many available jobs anymore. Let's remove these guys. And uh, we could probably add some additional unskilled workers. I'd, I'd like to have a bit variation later inside of this circle. So I will try to, or well, actually I'm thinking about to add additional a additional I will work a home over there but yeah let's wait let's wait and see let, let, let's add a pedestrian pass what size I used here I think I think it's the 10 yeah so the idea is now to use the pedestrian pass to separate this area here a bit. 
yeah this could for example work very well now we can add a row of um, skilled worker houses over here oh, this is too close probably something like this a bit away from this road or uh, no, it's okay. Uh, probably, nah, I think, I'm not sure about this. Uh, let's, let's put the row of these houses over there with a bit of space. I think it's not a problem if we put four times the same building in a row because yeah, it's, it's, or wait a second, wait a second. I can remember we have this building also with a different type of texture. Somewhere. Hmm. I think that's it. No, it's a different building. Hmm. Oh, but maybe this is a bit too boring. I really like this building, so let's put this here and this over there between them. So, yeah, it's like an apartment complex, but two different types. Yeah, way better, way better. Okay. Um, I am not sure about this pedestrian pass. Uh, what makes would make sense for a pedestrian pass is if we would add one right here or because then we can hmm. I'm thinking about it. it's 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 very this layout is not very easy like I said, I don't want to have too much chaos inside of this. I'm not sure about this. It's it's hard to explain what's going on in my mind at the moment. Um, this looks interesting. So, or we should... I mean, we could just, just add houses over here, over there, and over there, and then we are fine. But we need, we need a pedestrian pass inside of this to make this not too boring you know what i mean probably this is not a bad idea i mean we could use this here to create to create a park again yeah let's do this let's let's try to create a nice park and plaza like kind of stuff over here Uh, let's try to shape something interesting. Oh, it's straight road. Now road parallel to this. Now we need to reconnect this over here. Yes, I think this could be something nice. We now need to change the texture of the pedestrian pass. Of course, we need to connect this. to everything yeah this is interesting and inside of this we can put some water textures later and grass around this yeah i think i think we can use this that way and let's add some additional skilled worker houses to this yeah Oh, we need we need so many of them so many something modern please something modern please oh there are not so many actually oh we already used this over there mm -hmm. oh, that's not so nice Oh, 
Uh, yeah. I have no idea. Let's just probably take this one. We could build some kind of row like this. Yeah, very dense. I think this is okay. And then we can add a single building like this right over here. Yeah, I think this looks promising. I, I think we, we, we finally almost got it. Uh, let's build another row this way. Yeah, it's, it's not modern, but I think we can take this one. Because it looks interesting in a row, something like this. Uh, that that's too much yeah i think this is okay let's let's leave it this way the next thing i can do is is to add trees and i think yeah let's add some trees and i think then this episode is over we have a bit of additional population right now which is good so this city is finally slowly growing <laughs> After, I don't know, one year of messing around with roads and stuff, finally the city starts to grow. That's great. Alright, some trees, also some trees over here. Ooh. Yeah, I'd like to keep uh, one side of the road empty. So that I can always or always have enough space to put trees along one side of the road. Yeah, here, here you can see what I mean. So we have just houses on one side of the road. So I can put some trees over here and there because there's another house at this side. So I also did this over here, for example. This is something very important to keep... Um, to keep this layout working all right so yeah thank you very much for watching i can say now because this episode is over this circle is starting to grow very fast that's great uh maybe i will continue a bit off camera to finally create a road network that works inside of the circle so we can spread this building buildings a bit around in the next episode yeah so what was i saying yeah of course thank you very much for watching and goodbye